So what's way. bad writing about China? What, what are you fighting against? I think you're trying to, to say that there's... How much there's, time do we have? I, I, <laughs> no, I mean... We have plenty of time. It's raining and cold outside. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I think that, you know, I just think it's the extremes. It's the same thing as the bad writing about America. You know, it's just like, you know, my students would, you know, either America's a place of constant crime or a place where everybody's rich. And it's like, well, this is not it. You know, you should know something in the middle. Um, and, I, you know, I just think... Uh, and is that influenced by starting to write not from Beijing or Shanghai, but by Fuling, or it's just a I think it's kind influenced of intellectual by the tradition. Spiritual? I think it's, a tra it's the way you write about your local community. I mean, I think actually foreign coverage, it follows the same patterns as local coverage, basically. You know, and if you're living in New York and you're writing, like, you can't just write about average life in New York City, like for the New York Times. I mean, you can do some, but that's not really what you're supposed to do, you know, like, because the people who read your paper, who live here, they know what that's like to some degree. So mm -hmm. you, you do have to find the extremes and the things that are messed up that have to be fixed. Um, it's an appropriate point of coverage. Um, but I think the problem is that tradition is very deeply entrenched um, in American journalism. And then foreign correspondents arrive in another country and they do the same kind of thing. So they find the most extreme cases in China of things that need to be fixed or that are, you know, egregious. And, um, but, you know, if there's no context, I think it just kind of confuses Americans. And it actually doesn't end up fixing the problem anyway. So it's, I think the foreign reporter has to serve a very different function than domestic reporter. Um, and, you know, this is, I think not everybody would agree with me, you know, and, and I, I mean, I, so I was you, criticized. So, so when you're reading stuff that comes out of bureaus, by intelligent people who speak Chinese for the most part. What are your frustrations with, with, with that? Um, you know, I guess that often it seems overly political, um, when it, whereas I, I think often the social, you know, maybe looking more at a social frame reference helps, um, trying to give some sense of how, how, how people interact um, sometimes the, it's rather than just picking one issue in one point in time, mm -hmm. you need to show the trajectory of things, mm -hmm. um, which is really important. I mean, we, we should be honest. This is a conversation that Peter and I have had for years, and because I tend to come at things maybe more politically, you come at things more socially, and it's a conversation we have. And the tradition of The New Yorker is that the writer wins. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still alive, but the writer, the, the writer does win, and the idea is that, the, that you're there and I'm not, and that, the, that every writer, it, it's meant to be a writer's magazine that deeply influences what we, what we do.